Hello, hello. Hi, guys. This is Sarah Michael, and we are going to get started. I am just going to share this into the Feel Good Selling Group, so give me a quick second um, while folks get on and join. Hope you're well. Hope you're enjoying this lovely, did that work? Uh, this lovely spring day. Hopefully it's lovely everywhere. Um, and uh, not just in Southern California. I realize I have the awesome uh, uh, fortune of living in Southern California where it feels like spring a lot of the year. Sometimes we have winter and sometimes we have summer. Um, but those are our three seasons. So I am just making sure this worked. Um, because I do, I did tell the Feel Good Selling Group that it would be there, and it's there. Okay, cool. And I see a couple of people joining. Hello, Miss Lynn. Thanks for being here. I'm really excited about the topic I'm going to talk about today. Um, something near and dear to my heart. It combines a lot of the work I do and um, the work that is closest to my heart. So I'll jump in, y'all. This is about your leadership and how you show up. And... Um, Hello, Sasha. <laughs> I think Sasha left. <laughs> Sasha cuts my hair, and if you have hair in, if you have hair, if you, <laughs> if you are in Southern California, if you're in the Los Angeles area, I drive an hour to go to Sasha now. He's amazing. Um, I have a lot of hair. I'm not going to take it down from the stick right now, but he does amazing things with all of my hair, and I need to come see you. Um, so, what, where I started to see this. Your leadership and how you show up is about three years ago I started realizing that you know if you're my friend if you're my family if I know you well Sasha you know people in my world that I know uh, once you're a client once we're even on a phone call in a connection call or a sales call you're gonna get me you're gonna get all of Sarah I have not been editing or shrinking in terms of bringing all of me out for a very long time at this point and but big but is I wasn't bringing it out in my marketing and my sales in for my business um, you'd get some of me you would maybe even get three-quarters of me but I was holding back I was withholding I was saving some stuff that you know I wasn't quite sure you'd like I wasn't quite sure you'd find funny some of these things definitely have to do with you know your quirky and your your idiosyncratic and the ways you look at the world hello miss danielle glad you're here um yeah your perspective your viewpoints your the you know the vantage you come in at due, due to your experience and your background um and but i really saw that i was i was not bringing all of myself out not in my marketing um and that's when I basically put myself on a self-imposed uh, challenge that actually became Project U uh, because I, I went through, it was actually on Snapchat, the early days of Snapchat where, um, well, it was pretty early, and I was really trying to figure out why people like Snapchat, and I went to grad school for technology and stuff, so it was kind of like a research project, and I couldn't understand it because to me, um, up until that point at least, uh, social media was about more documenting a life, um, you know, showing what's going on and, and, and having it stored, and that's the documenting part, <laughs> and having this record of pos for posterity almost. Um, and what I saw um, through a friend who Snapchat was really expressed and running around the beach and, and being all goofy was so different from his Instagram, which was like curated and very tight and you know, like things would come and disappear and you know, it was curated. Curated is the best way and it was this, you know, curating the image. But on Snapchat, it allowed for self-expression. It was a greater form of self-expression, namely because it disappeared in 24 hours. So that was like my aha, so I really leaned into that. And, and it had it disappears in 24 hours. So I took myself on this self-imposed um, and, and in that worked through a lot of the stuff where I was not bringing all of myself out, not showing of myself, not 
uh, uh, are all of myself, not bringing out my quirky, not bringing out my silly, not bringing out some of my most brilliant things to share with the world. Um, I was holding them back. So here's the thing though, and why I noticed it, and this is where I'm precocious is I see things and I'm like, oh, that's, you know, that's not good. We want to be bringing more of ourselves out in our marketing and our sales. That we're holding back even a little is getting in our way because people buy how you think. They buy your perspective, they buy you, they buy your quirky, they buy your idiosyncratic side, they buy, like with me, you know, I will take art history, brain science, and messaging for your business, and I will make it make sense. And I will teach you and give you a perspective on messaging that you never had before because I'm combining art history and brain science. That's very unique to me that I can come from that perspective, that I can unpack things in a way and with contexts and, and um, you know, other things to latch on to because you can understand the art history thing, you know, easily, that makes sense. And, and here's the brain science, but then here's the lesson. So your POV, it, they, people, that's what they're buying, your opinions. People are actually buying your opinions. They're buying your special slant on things. They're buying how you think, I'll say it again, and they're buying your stance or your stand. Like, what are you for? What are you against? They're buying that. So the more we bring that out, the better. And I'm gonna have a little sip of water because it must be dry here today. Um, and what can happen when we, and I'm looking down and I should tell you, I have some notes. One of the things I, I teach about this is you have a few notes, but you trust yourself and you allow yourself to share um, pretty free form within some structure. Structure supports flow. There it is again. Um, and what can happen when we're only bringing part of ourselves out, it's really three things. One is people will sense that you're not fully there. People will sense that you're only sort of there or only bringing some of you. People sense it. It's, I know it's crazy, you know, you might think, how? Well, it's, it, they sense it. We, we convey things with our body and our expressions and our words and, and just our energy. A lot of what we're talking, just like, you know, is this done in a confident manner? I was at a event last night and uh, when it was this one girl's, gal's time to talk, she, I mean, it was really quiet, could hardly hear her, and she was visibly well, to my eye, um, visibly nervous. So, you know, and, and, but even if it's not visibly, people can tell that you're nervous. So, so they sense that you're not bringing yourself out. That's one thing that can happen. Second thing that can happen is you come across as too meek, as I call you. That's like too soft. You're not confident enough. Um, you're not owning you're awesome, as I like to say. Awesome being a, a, a bucket term for your beauty, your brilliance, your personality, your quirky, your awesome, all of it. Um, yeah, you don't have that. That's that meek piece and not confident. And then we have what I call proving energy. And that's when we overcompensate and we go too far. <laughs> and we we, oh yeah, we, we, we put on an attitude, we put on an air. You could call it having a chip on your shoulder, for sure. Um, uh, I've seen people do, you know, videos and I mean, it's like their hands on their hip and they, they might have, they're not wagging their finger, but they might as well be. Proving energy, that's a really good example of proving energy. Um, and, and that comes from not being confident. <laughs> Funny that, but there, there's, you know, you're not confident, so you don't bring all of yourself out. You're not confident, so you're meek and not, you know, meek and not confident. Or you're in this overcompensating space that, ha that is due to lack of confidence, but may come across on first blush as confident. But that's where this is an energetic, y'all. But people are going to sense that something is off. Maybe they'll think you're wicked confident, but they're not going to buy from you. They're gonna think that you're wicked knowledgeable, but they're not gonna trust you because something is off and they can tell. And all of this relates to your leadership, your business, your career is you leading, leading yourself, leading your team, leading your business, leading, leading your, uh, your, your mission, your impact, your, your social 
social activist, whatever you're leading, you're leading. I'm a leader, y'all are leaders. It works that way. Like a tri Oh, okay, we got a poor wireless connection. That's weird, I'm on Wi-Fi and everything. Um, just checking the time, I didn't want this to go on forever and ever. Um, but it affects your leadership because how you're coming across as a leader, are you not bringing all of yourself? Are you coming across as meek? Are you overcompensating and, and having what I call approving energy? That affects your leadership. That affects how people hear you. That help. That affects how people take action when you present a call to action. And and if it's a here by my thing call to action, it could be here. You know, let's all do this together thing. Let's go change the world. Let's go make this team better because we're falling apart. Whatever it is, it affects your leadership. And the more you're showing up just as you, you in your brilliance, you in your quirky, the more I've brought out my silly and my goofy and my weird perspectives and or weird, I mean, it's all relative, y'all. So the more I have brought that out, the more I have shown that, you know, I had a client come to me about a year and a half ago. Um, and in our first session, I did something I do all the time but I was letting out in my marketing too, which is I, I drop whys. So like the jumpy jump, um, if a website isn't working right, or, um, oh, I'll do it, you know, the, the, the bookie book. Like I'll add a why to everything. And during our, free, our first session, um, I did that. And she goes, oh, I love when you do that. She already knew that little quirk of Sarah. And, and I, was, I was like, oh, wow, that's really cool that she already knew that. And it's because I was letting all of my personality out. I need another sip of water, hold on. <clears throat> so yeah, um, we gotta be doing that more and more. And, and I wanted to talk about leadership and how this affects, how how we show up affects our leadership today because one of the both wonderful and funny things about my Project U course is Ostensibly, it's, it's to get you comfortable on video because you will get comfortable on video. You will get comfortable. I, what happens is a few days in, I, I watch you drop in to your body because you're not freaking out and flying out your head. I watch you drop into your body and you will get comfortable on video. You will get comfortable sharing your personality and your quirky because the reflection, the people responding to you and your videos is gonna tell you that that was funny <laughs> or that was awesome or that I never thought of it that way. But you're gonna get this wonderful feedback or showing your brilliance because part of Project U is you're going to share on video, yes, um, your wisdom, your, your insight that like only you have. Because again, people are buying how you think, people are buying you, people are buying the things you think and say and do and help them with that nobody else can. And it's because you do it that they can hear it. And, and so all of that, yes, it's, it's video confidence for sure, hands down. But all of the work we do, the growth we do, is on camera. You guys might have heard me talk about benefits before versus features and how you get a benefit. So the interesting thing about Project U is video, for some people, is a benefit, for sure. And it is also a feature. It's also how we get the bigger result, which is getting you comfortable and confident being you in your beauty, in your quirky, in your brilliance, anywhere, everywhere, all the time. Thanks, Miss Danielle, yeah, you go. Yeah, come back and watch the end. That's awesome, thanks for being here. Um, and thanks for the hearts, Miss Lynn. Um, yeah, it, it affects everything. Um, one woman, um, you can go to the, uh, I'll put the link in the comments um, and maybe in the post. Um, and you can see Wendy's video, I, it literally says Wendy in full color because before Project U, she had been ascribing to the Steve Jobs school of dressing where you eliminated that as a complex thing and you wore three colors and everything matched. And she loved that. But after Project U, she realized that she needed color. She needed to wear color. She needed to be in color. So she donated all those blacks and grays and whites and she bought a bunch of colorful dresses and tops. Oh my God. Everywhere, this stuff. Um, another offline or off camera example is one woman been going to a networking event for years and went back after Project U and, and gave her 
30 second intro or whatever little thing she had for how much time she had and she got a standing ovation. That's because she showed up differently. That's because her leadership was coming out in a bigger way. So that's the magic of Project U. And we're doing it again starting next week, May 15th, what, May, wait, ah, May 14th through the 25th. <laughs> I don't want to get that wrong. I'm going to double check it on my iPad. Um, yeah, May 14th through the 25th. It's free. One thing about the um, massive transformation and growth that happens in Project U, it was clear to me that this needed to be a full course, it needed to be a paid course. We needed to honor the transformation and happening, happening. Um, and it will go back to 497. But it, it's been dormant because I did it five times in 13 months um, and it needed, to, needed a little break and it needed to come out right now. And so I'm gonna do a free one. And it's inside of my Feel Good Selling group. That's where all the magic will happen. Um, and you can sign up at the link. It's totally free. You get daily email prompts. Um, should take you about 20 minutes tops. This isn't supposed to suck up your time. Um, do your little five minute video. Watch a few of the videos, respond to the videos. It's pretty mellow, but it's really, really special. And you will get comfortable on camera and you will get comfortable being you everywhere. It will come out in your marketing and your sales and your romantic life and your friend life and your spiritual life and everywhere. Your family, your kids, all of it. Okay guys? So totally sign up. Special as hell and we all need to shed these layers. It doesn't matter if you're comfortable on video or not. Come do this. This is about your leadership and also, if you've done it before or think you have, but if you've done Project You, come do it again. You guys, it's layers. We layers. It's like peeling back the onion, this unbecoming of all this stuff we've put on. And maybe it's recent stuff because this stuff gets created through all sorts of experiences and come roaring back or a whole new thing can come in and we can start contorting and we can start proving or, or we can start uh, being meek and not confident. I once had a coach reflect to me it was some sort of affirmation I was coming up with um, and she's like you know Sarah it's kind of feels a little like a proving energy she used proving energy back on me and I was like oh um, and and it's a thing and we can feel it so come join us um, really special oh the other thing it's really safe if you're scared don't be scared no you're gonna do things that seem really stretchy growy in a really safe container where no one, no one, no one is going to say anything negative to you. No one is going to even press back on your opinions. Um, for opinion, you know, this, keep moving, keep moving. If you don't like it, you keep moving um, because there's plenty of people in the group who are going to resonate and just dig it. Um, so sign up at the link. Totally wonderful. Can't wait to see you there. And thank